guys, this is Vargas, and I am back again with the second part of my Movie Freak Bazaar DVD haul. Uh, this is the stuff that I got for myself. Uh, you'll, and it's the second part that I'll do. There will be another part, a third part of horror movies, but since Macabro is back, he's going to take care of the horror movies. That's why you didn't see any horror movies in, in the last video or in this video. Uh, he's gonna share the horror haul that uh, I got through Movie Freak Bazaar. So, let's get started with the first one. Uh, I've mentioned this before, and I, I say that a lot in my videos. I've mentioned this before, that um, I'm trying to collect these really weird uh, religious movie or religious movies or Christmas movies. Uh, because some of them are really weird and uh, they're kind of fun to watch. And I picked this one up, and it's it's a Christmas movie, and it has a good cast, but um, the, the the plot of this thing sounds insane. And it's Pottersville, a it's a magical life, still sealed, uh, which is cool. Um, but it has Michael Shannon, who played uh, General Saad in uh, the Man of in Man of Steel, uh, Judy Greer, who was in ha the Halloween. 2018 movie uh, has Thomas Lennon, Ron Perlman, uh, Christina Hendricks, and Ian McShane. So I was like, "What the hell is this cast doing here?" And it's about this store owner whose business is is failing because he's he's a good guy, so he lets people stay take stuff uh, from store on credit and then they don't pay him. So this, his store is crapping out and the whole town's kind of in a bad shape. So um, his girlfriend. Is cheating on him because uh, she's a furry. She's someone that dresses up in in a, like a, like a stuffed animal costume, and uh, he's like, "Ask oh, it." And then one day he he gets drunk and he go. And this is all a synopsis that I read online. Uh, he get he gets inside like a gorilla suit, and people mistake him for Bigfoot, but it gets attention to the town, so keeps doing it to help out the town. It's insane. It's a Christmas movie where a guy dresses up in a gorilla suit pretending to be Bigfoot. It, it, it sounds insane, but um, it has a 0% in Rotten Tomatoes that I checked. So it might be hot garbage, but it sounds crazy. And that's that's the kind of my thing. <laughs> uh, bl another blind buy. Don't know anything about this. The only thing I know is that it stars uh, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones and... Uh, the chick from uh, Mean Girls, and she was, I think, in Master of Se Masters of Sex with um, ah, the guy that was in Underworld and the uh, horrible Twilight ones. And it's the last rites of Ransom Pride. I just thought the cover was cool, and and I really like that actress, so pick that one up. But no idea what it's about. A uh, couple of months ago, I finally tracked down a copy of Left Behind. Because I have the Nicolas Cage one, because of course I do, it's Nicolas Cage. Uh, but I'm trying to track down the original ones, and I found the original Left Behind, Left Behind the movie um, a, a while back. And there's three of those, and I finally found uh, Left Behind 2, Tribulation Force. Uh, the Rapture happens, and the Antichrist, the Antichrist uh, is starting to rise, and uh, I just wanted to get it, so finally got it. Need to get the third one. This one I completely only picked up because of Lance Hendrickson. Uh, he's one of those actors that I will watch anything he's seen, like Michael Keaton or Michael Ironside. Uh, if if his, he's in the movie, I'll I'll watch it and I'll buy it. And this is the uh, Asylum um, mock bluster of uh, the Da Vinci Code, and this is the Da Vinci Treasure. And these Asylum movies, sometimes they're hit or miss. Sometimes they're... They're laugh laughably bad, and I get a chuckle out of them. Sometimes they're pretty okay, uh, and sometimes they're like just like boring and really cheap. Uh, no idea what, what this is going to be, but uh, it has Lance Hendrickson, so that alone is reason enough for me to buy it. Uh, picked up Super Troopers 2, because I have the first one, and I've never seen the second one, so I want to check it out. Picked up The Big Hit with Mark Wahlberg, Lou Diamond Phillips, Christina Applegate, Bokeem Woodbean, and Antonio Sobato Jr. The Big Hit. I might have caught this on TV once, 
uh, what, this was when uh, Marky Mark was trying to be an actor and uh, he dropped the Marky Mark name and he went full on Mark Wahlberg. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's really uh, good in movies. Uh, even in a crap movie like The Happening, uh, he's good in it. So, yep. Uh, this one I'll add to my uh, Jennifer Aniston collection. Uh, before she really got... She, she, I don't know, she did something really bad to her face. Got one operation too many but back when she was still really really gorgeous uh wonderlust with paul rudd and jennifer aniston uh i really really like jennifer aniston and she's okay in her movies even though she kind of plays the same character uh but yeah there, there was this point where she got really crazy not as much as courtney cox she went way too much with the and really early with the operations but jennifer aniston still looked good and then she did something and messed herself up, uh, which I shouldn't say because that sounds really bad, but, but it's true. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I picked up Wonderlust. Uh, picked this one up, How to Be Single, uh, with uh, Rebel Wilson. Who have you seen Rebel Wilson lady? lately? I'm sorry. Um, she was always kind of chunky. And the last movie I saw her in was The Hustle. Uh, with Anne Hathaway and then the plague hit and then she was like well uh, she said she came out and said I was like legally obligated to stay uh, big for my movie roles but now the plague hit and screw it I'm, for healthy health reasons I'm gonna lose the weight and she lost like a bunch of weight and she looks like really different like uh, like if you see Adele and you, you see Adele now it's like a big change so yeah it's a, it's a romantic comedy which uh, Comedies nowadays uh, haven't been that good, but uh, I haven't picked up. <laughs> uh, picked up this one. It's a one of those uh, Echo Bridge ten movie releases. I'm hoping it, it has two discs or or more, because what they do is that they tend to compress uh, the movie, so it looks a little. It looks like kind of equivalent to um, VHS. Which is fine. I, I don't mind. I'm not a big. Uh, I, I don't. I, that's why I haven't gotten to 4K or, or upgraded all of my DVDs to Blu-ray. Uh, I'm not a big. I actually think that some movies look better with a uh, lower quality horror movies, especially. Uh, they look really better with lower uh, quality because they hide a lot of the effects. And I've seen a couple of movies that uh, they are digitally remastered and. Uh, they clean it up and make it more bright, and it looks like garbage. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm fine with it. But I have a Jackie Chan one where it's really noticeable that the, the quality drops a lot. Um, not VHS, but like a really bad uh, broadcast on TV. If that makes sense. <laughs> you uh, people that are around my age will probably know what I'm talking about. Or younger people will think this guy's insane, but. Um, uh, like if you watch a movie on YouTube, the a really old movie, and the video transfer is not that good, and uh, something like that. that. That's the best explanation I can give. So Echo Bridge is hit or miss sometimes, but this is a Rosario Dawson, supposedly a Rosario Dawson ten movie collection. Like I mentioned, I picked up Josie and the Pussy Cats because of Rosario Dawson, and I picked this one up, and it has a uh, Revolution. Blade, not uh, with Wesley Snipes, something else called Blade. Uh, Maximum Force, uh, nothing too good for a cowboy choke uh, with uh, Dennis Hopper and Michael Madsen. The Swap, uh, The Eliminator, which sounds interesting. Uh, Life Before This, which doesn't sound interesting. Hindsight and A Father's Revenge, uh, supposedly starting Rosario Dawson, but um, I don't see her in the credits, so I might have been Hoodwink. Yeah, I don't see Rosario Dawson in any of these. This shit lied to me. Oh, I see what they did. Okay, only. Uh, okay. <laughs> it says This Revolution, starring Rosario Dawson. Uh, so stupid me, I thought that maybe Rosario Dawson. Uh, was going to star in all the other movies like maybe it's a compilation of Rosario Dawson but no Rosario Dawson only stars in the first one this revolution which is the first movie here revolution is the only one that stars Rosario Dawson the other ones are just movies that they got <laughs> ah, I've been hoodwinked 
But it's still fine. It's still fine. These, uh, the good thing about these type of collections is that sometimes you find some really obscure movies that maybe haven't been released on, on DVD standalone. So, uh, because of rights issues or because people just don't care. So they release these on, on these multi-movie collections and you get like a really obscure movie that you wouldn't be able to find otherwise. So yeah, if you can take a hit to the video quality, the image quality, I'm sorry, and just really want to collect some really obscure movies, these, these are good. Uh, blind Buy, no idea what this is, uh, but it's called May the 6th. May the 6th. Uh, it's just said, uh, a dangerous game of cat and mouse in, is set in motion following the murder of a prominent Dutch politician. So, mm, I don't know. This one I picked up because I like martial arts movies, but um, I really like older martial art movies. And uh, modern ones are, are okay, but not as good as the older ones. Like, I really like early Jackie Chan or those, uh, what they're called, the Chopsaki martial art movies with the really bad dubbing. That's my bread and butter. That's what I really like. Modern ones are are fine. Really good one that I want to track down is The Raid and The Raid 2. If you haven't seen those movies, uh, that's a recommendation I'm going to give. Uh, watch The Raid. Uh, but this is called uh, Veteran. And it just looks like a, like a martial art movie. Uh, but it has a nice uh, shiny slipcase. So, yeah. Uh, this one, uh, it's called Jerry Seinfeld, I'm Telling You For, I'm telling you for the Last Time, Live on Broadway. Uh, supposedly, this is uh, Jerry Seinfeld's uh, last. He did a tour after Seinfeld uh, ended. He did a tour, uh, like a goodbye tour for stand-up comedy. And then he didn't do any anymore. And this is uh, a show that HBO released, uh, Jerry Seinfeld, I'm telling you for the last time. Uh, so what's the deal with this thing? <laughs> uh, I really like Seinfeld, I actually want to get Seinfeld on, on DVD, but uh, I want to start from season one onward, and I've only always come across the last season, which is kind of annoying, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to get that. And this one I picked up for my daughter. Uh, I would have gotten this copy myself because uh, I mentioned this before, Spanish movies I pick up with Spanish titles. Uh, American movies I like with the English titles. Uh, but my daughter really wanted this one and I bought it for her and it's Descendants, but it's in Spanish so it says Descendientes, which bugs me. <laughs> but it's for my daughter and the, the, the good thing is that this one, the lettering is properly set up. Like, you get, see an American DVD, and you get uh, the English side on the spine, like so. But Mexican DVDs, for some reason, like, this is a, 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 the way an American movie would do it, but Mexican ones do it like that. So it's upside down for some weird, bizarre reason. But uh, even though, again, um, we have Disney+, Plus. Uh, Sometimes she just want to, she, she kind of got that from me, she wants to watch the movie on DVD. She likes, she likes the opening the case and putting it, I, I'm, I'm trying to guide her through a, uh, a good path here. And she likes looking at the DVD, I, and she has a whole, a whole movie collection that I've got for her and she likes looking at the box art and then uh, opening and looking at the disc and then putting the disc on the DVD. So I'm really, really proud of her because of that. So uh, I got for her Descendants 3. Uh, a while back and I've been trying to get her to send one and two and I finally got this one for her. She doesn't care about the title being in Spanish or in English. So yeah, got that. So that was my part of the uh, Move Free Bazaar haul. Um, I forgot to do it on the last video because I wanted to do it in this one. Uh, I always like to recommend the uh, standout of the collections. Uh, for the first part uh, I'm going to go with Spider-Man Homecoming. It really is a really cool Spider-Man. I really like Tom Holland as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. That's something I've mentioned, I might have mentioned before, I, I, from the original Tobey Maguire movies. I like Tobey, Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker, but I don't like him as Spider-Man. And with the Andrew Garfield ones, I like him as Spider-Man, but he sucks as Peter Parker. And in this one, I think they found a really nice balance of uh, Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So again, I'm really looking forward to uh, 
them making the third one. And from the second hall, well, a lot of those are blind buys, so I can't really... Uh, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, the, these are all blind buys, so I guess Descendants? <laughs> I'm going to recommend that one. Because uh, everything else I bought from the second vid, uh, part of the vid, of the haul are complete blind buys, so I, I don't know. I'm going to go with Descendants. <laughs> So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, I forgot to do this on the last one, but uh, if you want to see more pictures of the collection, you can follow me on the Instagram. Uh, you can do that there. You can also have follow me on uh, Facebook. I have a Facebook page called Vargas Vault, and you can also follow me on Twitter. And I'm trying to add a lot of diverse stuff to the social media. So. Uh, if you're new to the channel and just stumble upon it and you like seeing uh, a guy talk about way much about movies, uh, you can uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and that will supposedly tell you when a new video is up. It doesn't really work. I follow a bunch of people and it doesn't notify me. Uh, so, but whatever. <laughs> and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Uh, please stay safe during these crazy times and I'll see you later. Bye.